Yes, that's right. Oreo actually came out with Lady Gaga cookies. So, we picked these up, oh, months ago, really, um, with the intent of doing this video. But then it was a matter of, what do I do with this video? What do you do with Lady Gaga cookies? I mean, if there was a specific flavor they were supposed to have, um, this is just pink colored golden cookie with green cream. They pretty much just come out and say, this is just the golden cookie with, yep, like, let's, let's, let's break it down here. And by the way, don't worry about the, uh, the mist effect in the beginning affecting the science of all this because the science part we recorded earlier. So, if you take a look, these are the Lady Gaga cookies. I'm not sure what the symbolism is here. That's supposed to be Lady Gaga dancing around a maypole or something? I don't know. With the Oreo brand on the back. Uh, there are multiple like, there's love, you know, Lady Gaga love kind of cookies. This says Chromatica, which is probably your album that came out. And if you pop them open, that that's about the pull you're getting off that. But I have to admit, when I first tried these, I felt like there was a different flavor to it. I couldn't figure out what it was, but I felt like there was just some kind of different flavor that was up. And I thought, but it's just supposed to be a golden cookie. Was it just the fact that there was that much food coloring? Or was it? And then I thought, color? Color affects how we perceive taste. That's a very big deal. So maybe the fact that it's really kind of, as far as I'm concerned, the mix of the pink and the green is a bit off-putting. Maybe I was, my brain was adding an off-putting flavor to it, even though I couldn't really define it. It tasted like vanilla, yet not. And it was kind of like, well, what are we, what are we doing here? What have they put in this cookie? So, from that point, I came up with the idea for this video. Let us test and see if I can truly taste the Gaga. Okay, so what we're going to do here today is I have gone with what is now a perfectly good blindfold, although it was formerly a life-saving mask. And my beautiful assistant, Donna, who is right now manning the camera, is going to assist us here. First of all, I want you to prove to the crowd here that I cannot see by attempting to strike you. Okay, have I point? Nope. Did you attempt to strike me already? Yep. I couldn't even tell. A couple of times. Okay, very good. So now, what we're going to do is, as you can see, on some of these plates, there are Lady Gaga cookies. I'm going to cinch up my mask a little bit to make sure that I cannot tell what's coming. And some of them are regular golden Oreo cookies. So what I want you to do is I want you to take one of them. It is your choice. I, I do not know what they are. And my eyes are even closed behind the mask. I want you to put one in my mouth and I'll try to determine if I can taste the gaga. No. It's really just covering the mask up on that. Oh, no. Okay, all I'm getting off of that is vanilla. I might be able to determine if that was a gaga cookie because it wasn't quite as crunchy as you expect a fresh area to be. We've had these for months. So that might have been a gaga. But I, it wouldn't be taste, because I was tasting the gaga itself. It would be because I'd be tasting the texture of it. <laughs> I was able to determine if it was a gaga cookie or not. Okay, now you can, you can do the same cookie, you can do a different cookie, you have to give me the next cookie. This time I'll take a bite of it. <laughs> As opposed to like, you know, choking to death on an entire cookie. Because that wasn't a good point. No. Okay, you ready? I don't give any of this away. 
Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? But no, I'm not, I'm not getting any hint of Gaga here. Yeah, it, it's an interesting thing. When I tasted it the first time, we were fried, I thought there was a little something, a little different flavor to it that I couldn't put my finger on. And that, you know, what we do eat with our eyes, and of course the centers of these things are dark green, and that's not like a color you still see with a person. So maybe my, now that I've taken away the visual element, it could be just vanilla. All right, we have two more cookies to do. Let's do the same thing. We'll see what happens. Now, the golden cookie did come all the way, it went all the way down to North Carolina and backwards. So there could be a little less pressure, but this tastes a little bit more fresh. Now I'm thinking it's a golden cookie. I could be wrong, but again, I'm also not getting any kind of different flavor of it. It does taste essentially like the other, the other two cookies. So we have that going for us. So far, I cannot taste the Gaga. The new puppy. <laughs> it is just a little bit more crunchy. All right, we have one more cookie left for science. Um, okay. Put the Gaga in my mouth. Oh, uh, hope it doesn't hurt. Oh, the sun goes in. Yeah, I'm not getting a flavor disparity. I'm just getting this is a crunchier one. So I'm thinking, if I had a guess, I had the two gagas and the two vanillas. Am I correct? Yes. <laughs> All right. So, in conclusion. Um, you can't really taste the Gaga, but if you do buy cookies and then you plan to do a video and like months go by, it can affect the outcome. Make sure they're fresh. Make sure they're fresh if you're doing a, a, a case kind of thing. But I mean, again, that's that's a lot of food coloring. This is, they took kind of a uh, a nice golden vanilla cookie and they, they really torqued it up here. But in case you're curious, officially, if you find these fresh, you cannot taste the gaga. Unless it's a psychological. <laughs> I guess that's just the, the mister for my wife's frogs. But, you know, so, you need an effect. There had to be an effect. <laughs>